Hey, so let's do a quick get ready with me. This is how I look in the morning um, before I get to work. And then, well, yeah, before I get to work, because for one, like I just roll the fuck out of bed and like, let's fucking go. We got to go. We got to go. And <clears throat> so, yeah, this is how I look. Most of the time my hair is up or it's down and it looks like a fucking hot ass mess. It's usually down when I'm asleep and I wake up and it looks like this hot mess. Anyways, so <clears throat> the other day, actually no, yesterday, I read something or I heard something of a like an interview from somebody who um, said something about how they were being compared by one person and it was like there it's unfair to compare myself with that person when that person will never be me has never been me and will never be me um and because of the fact of how she expresses her narrative she expresses her narrative with uh, full intent and uh, the fact that she expresses everything in her life as opposed to the other person who just talks about the things that are um like fucking hearts and roses and you know all the things but the other person actually um talks about you know like really hard intense shit so <clears throat> i was like damn like that's like good shit like what the fuck and it's like because for one like i've been through some shit like i've i've been through hell of a lot of shit that I wish I've like never been through but I've been through them and uh, most of y'all have seen it like on my channel and stuff and but I I also feel like right now like and recently in the past like year or so I know like I'm like hit or miss when it comes to like creating content or talking about anything or whatever that may be it's because you know I get so like trapped on melancholy island like I like to call it because like I just get so embarrassed and so overwhelmed by all the things that are happening because I know there is a lot of people who really really wanted me to fail and so it's always been embedded in my mind that if I ever were to confess all of these things that are happening in my life that are not great, then it's like they've won. And for me, I'm like, I don't want these motherfuckers to win. Like, I definitely not. So I'm going to do all the fuck I can to try to hide it, maintain my composure, and just do the best that I can until it's all, like over and then whenever everything is over I can come out of you know my fucking hole that I've buried myself in what the fuck is this bitch doing which got too close for my comfort anyways so I just you know just essentially don't motherfucker you know what this is why motherfuckers shouldn't have trucks or anything they can't fucking drive anyways so I'm just like on melancholy island over here just figuring out life and hoping nobody figures out I'm not okay and because I'm trying to check my eyebrows motherfuckers so I just feel like I am just just struggling um and I've realized that it's okay to struggle because everybody struggles. And I think by me worrying so much of how other people are gonna perceive me, then I am withholding my truth of what is reality. And I am, anyways, um, okay, I forgive that person for not knowing how to drive. So I just feel like I am not being expressive as I need to be because then I could be helping somebody else. And that is, I love to help people. And it's weird the way I, the weird way, the way I show it is just uh, whatever, but I, I love to help people and I want people to feel that they are not alone in whatever the fuck they're going through because I know what it's like to feel alone and it's not it's not great it's fucking awful man and I've been alone 
where I felt alone for a lot of part of my life. Even whenever I was in relationships, those relationships were just dead and I felt alone there too. Um, constantly cheated on and I want that to not be my narrative anymore. Like I want to be like, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I, my relationship failed because X, Y, Z, not because of being cheated on because for one that does a lot to me because it's where did I go wrong like what is wrong with me like and it really it really makes melancholy island like the only place I want to be because then I'm alone there and nobody can hurt me you know and so I understand <laughs> I understand my my sadness and I understand my my depression and I can acknowledge it however sometimes it gets lonely but you know I get through it the best that I can I normally don't put makeup on but I'm putting makeup on because I don't want to look dead because I've been looking dead all week and it's Friday so I want to look like I'm a little bit lively and I only got two hours of sleep so I don't want that to show anyways so yeah I know as always I just start with one topic and I end with something else and it's never clear communication with me never clear communication with me because my mind goes 10,000 miles a fucking second and I can't even catch up with myself so then I forget what the fuck point I'm trying to get across because my mind is just all over the place but yeah I would like I would like that narrative to change in my life and I don't know how to change it and I want everybody to know that they're not alone. Because bitch been through it too. I've been through it, all of it. And sometimes, you know, when I see my family like go through stuff, it really fucking bothers me. It bothers me to the point to where I'm like, I feel so helpless. And I just wish that it was me suffering and not my family because I've suffered so much that I ha learned how to deal with it <clears throat> better than what they are, I guess I should say, what they could do. And so I just rather it just be me and not them because it kills me. It absolutely kills me. And I, I just want to take that pain away from them and I just have the pain because I'm used to it you know I didn't bring my whole makeup back so this is as good as it's gonna get whatever <clears throat> but maybe I'll put well, I have eyeliner I'll put some eyeliner on um so yeah this is gone for like eight minutes out of nowhere but you know as usual that's how my shit goes most of the time God, you dumb son of a bitches. I swear. Like, people... Okay, anyways, let me not go there. Fucking, fucking people, man. I swear, it's not like a good day. I don't know. Like, it's just... I'm just... I'm trying to just live life the best that I can. Anyways, well... I'm just going to stop there and maybe I'll come back and talk more later this evening. We'll see how that goes. But it took nine minutes to get ready with me, motherfuckers. I have to pee like a son of a bitch. Ooh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like. I feel like the lipstick is just too bright because I don't have that much makeup on. Oh, that was a bad move, guys. 
but I have to pee because I had a fucking Topo Chico on my way to work. It makes me pee like a motherfucker. I like y'all needed to know that, but whatever. <clears throat> so, this essentially is what my hair looks like whenever I wake up. Is like this. Probably worse. It's probably like whatever. I'm just trying to give you like a mental image of what it looks like. But anyways. So, okay guys. So, I'm just gonna let y'all just clear on that thought there and... Or whatever the fuck I even said, honestly. So, okay, I'll talk to y'all later. This is kind of like the finished of what I'm gonna go into. But, you know, hopefully it's a good day. Eyebrows are okay, I guess. Oh, uh, whatever, I don't fucking care. I'm just, okay, bye.